What's going on everyone? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this more Peko team. And guys, let's get it. I'm hyped to use more Peko. Haven't used them on the ranked ladder, so today is the day. But guys, if you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for a thousand subs. I can't believe we hit that goal. Time to keep pushing this channel and growing it more and more. Rocking in the front spot right here. We have this Wimscott and this Lucario right here. And you guys already know the deal. That is a justified Lucario with a beat up Wimscott. It's beat up time. We're going to be using beat up on Lucario, Dynamaxing him, and just going to town with him. Then we have this more Peko right here, who I feel is going to be a beast. It has Life Orb on it with a Roar Wheel, which hits like a truck. Seed Bomb, Fake Out to actually give us a little bit of flinch and protect, which is just all around a good doubles move. Then we have this awesome Arcanine set right here. I love this Arcanine move set for doubles with the Flamethrower, the Snarl, just to drop the special attack. Like, Snarl doesn't do too much damage, but it just... It just kills the other Pokemon. It just takes them out of the game by dropping their special attack. It forces them to either swap out or stay in and do no damage. Then we got this Gothitelle right here who is going to come in just sometimes. We can run a Trick Room with her. We can run a Trick Room with her. Rocket and Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more health. But she's only going to be there when we have to run a Trick Room. And then in the final spot right here is this Barrascuda with Swift Swim who is Choice Bandit too. And look at his moveset. So much coverage. Just so much coverage. Has Bounce to Dodge moves. Liquidation for Stab. Drill Run and take out Electric Pokemon that they think are going to take out us. Plus, we're probably going to outspeed with the Barrier Scooter because he's so fast. Then Ice Fang as another coverage move. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you use it up, let me know how you do with it on the ladder and all that good stuff. Also, let me know for question of the day, what Pokemon do you think is OP right now? Because there are just so many Pokemon on the rank ladder that like they just got to get banned for right now. Or at least for next season to change up the meta. Or they have to add some like G-Max moves to kind of counter them. Like, I think Duraldon's very strong on the ladder right now. I'm not saying he's like OP, but he's very, very strong. Charizard's up there. You got the Butterfree teams, the Trick Rooms. Just all of them, I feel like, are just the meta. And it's kind of getting old right now. But guys, without further further ado, let's get some wins in the ranked double ladder in Master Ball tier. Oh! Oh! He's got big Pikachu squad! Big Pikachu squad up and coming. Do we lead the more Pekka? No, we're gonna go beat up Wimscott. Beat up Lucario, not beat up Wimscott. <laughs> we're gonna be bringing in a more Pekka though, but not in lead, not in lead. But yo, guys, like I said in the intro, we passed a thousand subs. Let's go. It's just unbelievable. Yo, guys, seriously, thank you for all the support. I cannot thank you guys enough. Seriously, it is honestly unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now we got higher goals now, and we're gonna reach them. Let's get it. Let's go. This guy's probably leading either the Togekiss and the Snorlax. I can see him going Snorlax, maybe Scrafty, going for a fake out. Which we would just go beat up Dynamax and just slap on. Morpeko's going in third spot. I don't want to roll a Trick Room. We kind of have the speed down. Um, do we go Lucario? Oh, no. We're going to go Barrascooter here. Barrascooter just has so much coverage on him. It's just like, you got to bring him. He has the Ice Fang for the Toad Kiss and the Rebombi. He has his Drill Run. Drill Run does some work. He has the Water Moves, which is Stab. It's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. But let's get this first match. Let's get this win. Let's get this win, baby. Let's go, let's go. Also, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. Seriously, tons of fun. Tons of fun. But well, here we go. The Scrafty does pop. A little bit of Scrafty action. Uh, how are we going to roll here? Do we still go beat up? Do we still go beat up? Because you know the fake out's coming. You know the fake out's coming. Close combat is super effective over on you. Go for a Meteor Mash. No. Ooh. 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 This is rather scary. Because you know the fire moves coming through coming in hot we're gonna have a choice band we're gonna swap right early on we get the quick swaps and we're gonna go for a little bit of tailwind action we're gonna go for a little bit of tailwind action i think that's a chilling move because he's gonna go into the fire into po possibly the fake out on my lucario into the flamethrower i don't see him dynamaxing lucario get back here you can't go beat up he kind of called that kind of called that one he's like he's going beat up lucario i'm gonna switch to a scooter the fake out's gonna pop on not him. I still think we outspeed all of your Pokemon even without the Tailwind. Wimscott flinch can't move. And Heat Wave does pop. Heat Wave's gonna be... That would've did some work on my Lucario. Wimscott goes down here. Not the Wimscott. And you burned my Barrascooter. What you mean? Wow. Wow. What a good start for this guy. Absolutely dumping me early on. Okay. We got more Peko. We gotta go Lucario. We have to go Lucario. Yeah, we're going to go Lucario straight into a close combat here. Give it a little liquidation. Can we go close combat? Is that the call? 100% liquidation over on the channel. Lord. Yeah, I say we close combat. I don't care if it's dropping our stats. This scrafty has got to go. He's got to go. Maybe I should have Dynamax to Lucario. Hmm. Nah, we're saving it for that Life Orb Peko. 
little life orb Pekka. We got double stab moves thrown out here. I wonder what this guy's gonna do. Like, we're gonna do some work here. I think the Scrafty's gonna go down, potentially to Chandelure. As both these guys hits like a truck, we have Lucario with that close combat. That's a huge base power attack with the stab. And then we have the Choice Bandit Liquidation. Here comes the D-Mash, probably from his Scrafty, boy. No way he's going to Chandelure. No way. Not a chance. No chance. It's gotta be the Scrafts. It's gotta be Scrafts. No Chandelure. It is the Chandelure. <laughs> It is the Shandles. Wow, I thought the Scrafty was definitely getting that play call. But he's going to try to eat up this Liquidation. Probably can now. I'll probably just dump on my Lucario. Fine, we have more Pekka in the back end. Liquidation. Yay! That's a good amount of damage for Dynamax Pokemon. We got close combat. Take him out. Yay! Yes, sir. Okay, so that takes him out. Bye, Lucario. Thanks for coming. Lucario's gone. So Lucario is done here. Especially if we have our defense drop right here. Lucario's done. Bye-bye, buddy. You're gone. Chandler's gonna pop here. An overgrowth? Hold the phone. Never mind. Lucario's here. Barrascoot is gone. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. All honesty. Our defense is down. We can go for another close combat, but we are Dynamaxing the Pekos. The Peck Daddy Jr. More Pekos getting that Dynamax right here. My little boy's getting the Dynamax. He's all growing up. He's growing up, but he's gonna get a little bit of health back from the overgrowth. Here he comes. A little life orb action. We could set the train. Terrain could be nice, but... I don't know. Things aren't looking so well for you, boy. But what moves do we go into? We are going to die. We could fake out. We're going to fake out, actually. We're going to fake out the Rabambi and come into a bullet punch. I mean, we should be able to outspeed, right? Because you know he's taking out our Lucario, so why not just take out the Rabambi here? Why not just take out the Rabambi? Lucario should outspeed. Hopefully, he goes after my Lucario, all honesty, instead of my more pecs. That's what I think he's going to do. Instead of Dynamax and more Pekka, we're just going to go for a nice little fake out. Take off the focus sash on the Bombi and get rolling from there. Get rolling from there because I think he's gonna max uh I think he's gonna max uh flare us. I think he's gonna max flare my Lucario. Say night night then. Pekka's gonna drop. Oh, you go oh the Rabombi's going first. Ooh, we, we should have bullet punched. Yep, we should have bullet punched there. More more Pekka, I need you here. Meteor Mash, we should have bullet punched, probably would've took him out. Dang dude. Dang it! We should have took him out there. We gotta quit, even though we didn't even need it. We didn't need it. I should have bullet punched. That one's on me. That one's on me. I didn't I forgot about the speed of that thing. Here comes the Max Flare. Now all we need is more Pekko to come up clutch. <laughs> clutch more Pekko. Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. 3 HP. Can the more Pekko do it? Is the question. Is the question. I think there's a possibility. I think there is a total possibility here. Depending on what Pokemon he goes into. Because that's the end of his turns, right? Or is he... Did he do two? Did he do two Dynamax moves? I think he only did two. I think he has one more. Okay, so Hangry Moon, more Peck. Oh, this could be good. We have the Pikachu. He has the Pikachu. We Aurora Wheel turns to dark. It is super effective. It is super effective. We're going after this Chandelure. Let's get him. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Here we go. More Peko coming out. If we one-tap this thing, say this Pikachu misses, and we one-tap him, oh my lord. Or we might be able to eat up a Pikachu shot. Because maybe he only has electric moves or like a fake out or something along those lines. So this could potentially be very, very good for us. Because we're going to go up to 22 HP. That's a scary amount right there. <laughs> now let's see what happens. We go first. Here comes the darkness. Give the clap, skis. Peko takes. Peko takes. A life orb damage is going to pop through. More Pekko, I need you here. I need you here, more Pekko. <laughs> but dude, if we win this one, if we win this one, we need a miss or something. What's he gonna do? Nine HP. Grass not miss. <gasps> what? What's that mean? It just said Pikachu shook his head. He doesn't like the move. What does that mean? Oh my! What does that mean? Max Strike or Overgrowth? Oh, Overgrowth is... Okay, we're going for Overgrowth. Higher base damage. What does that mean? Can we take out? Can we take him out? Come on! Oh my god! More Pekko Clutch! More Pekko Clutch, baby! Yes! More Pekko! <laughs> what does that mean? I don't get how he shook his head. Like, I don't know, but we take those wins!
Oh, baby, Clutch More Peko. Clutch More Peko came up so good in that last match, but we are going up against the boy, the GOAT right here, Togenomaru team right here. I'm scared, a little terrified. I don't know what he's going to rock out into. He has that Ndidi, but I don't see a little, I don't see any trick room. He might go Shell Smash Pulti, guys. That's also scary. We're going to go Lucario Whimsicott. Is that the, is that, is that too bold? Is that too bold to make? I want more Peko in here again, hands down. Hmm. Mm hmm. Last Pokemon? Do we go with the Arcanine? Could throw the card. Let's go here. Go here. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. No, more Peko. You're in the back end. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean that. No. Okay, hold up. I'm messing up right here. Arcanine, you're going to go with that Ipapa with a little bit of Ipapa. Who do I think he's going to lead? Definitely special attackers. Like, he's very special. I can potentially see him leading that Halucha. A little bit of Halucha action. Like, I want to go beat up Lucario right off the rip. We're going to do that. Okay. Switch it up once again. We're not going with the team. We are going with that team, just in a different order. More Peko. Arcanine? Yeah, Arcanine. Arcanine. Let's go. Let's get this, guys. Let's get this win. Hopping into battle number two. I'm kind of confused by his team. I think he's leading the token tomorrow, honestly, because that thing is a beast. It's a beast. One of my favorite Pokemons now. Ever since I used it, I absolutely fell in love with his playstyle. I absolutely love with it. He tons of paralyzes. He can hit like a truck. He has a fake out and he has a spiky shield. Like, come on. He's like a little porcupine. And Didi and Halucha do come out here. Probably Psychic Seeds. Oh, baby. That shiny looks phenomenal. This thing is probably Psychic Seeds. Not even going to lie. A little Psychic Seeds Halucha. Here goes the Psychic Surge. And the Seeds are going to pop. Giving it a little bit of boost. I, I forget what stat it does boost. Let's see. Here it is. Here's the Seeds. A little bit of Seeds action. Does it boost his defense? The special defense, okay. Okay, I see. I'm gonna just double into that thing. I'm gonna go for a Meteor Mash. Like, I know the what's it called's coming. I know that the follow me's coming, so I might as well just go into a Meteor Mash instead of a Bullet Punch. Let's see. Let's see how this comes in. It's probably gonna be follow me. He's gonna try to dump out my, my Lucario. I did not go for the beat up. I did not go for the beat up. We're chilling. We don't need it. We don't need it. Actually, we might need it, but I think we just outspeed those, those Pokemon. Yeah, seriously, follow me. I think we outspeed that Halucha. I think both my Pokemon will outspeed that Halucha. And Dazzling Gleam should be able to do a decent amount of damage. We're gonna Sword Stance. Wow, that thing's quick, but we do have Bullet Punch, which is lovely. Which is lovely. This thing's trying to stack up here. Yo, Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, yeah. We're not going for that Tailwind, buddy. We're coming for you, Halucha. We are coming for you. We get a critical hit on him. That is lovely. That is just dandy, isn't it? Meteor Mash pops. Yeah, yeah. Nice damage. Nice damage, buddy. Yes, sir. And we get the little attack boost there. Um, we'll go for another Dazzling Gleam. The Sword Sand's kind of going away. So I protect you. Do I protect you. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go for... No, I'm going to go for another Meteor Mash. You know the Follow Me is coming through. You know the Follow Me is coming through. So I might as well take it out with the... Actually, Bullet Punch probably would have been the call. Bullet Punch probably would have been the call because the Dazzling Gleam would have took it out. Here goes the D-Max Halucha. That is totally fine by me. If we do take it out, then we're going to roll into Tailwind beat-ups and all that. But I think he's going to go after my, uh, I think he's going to go after my little Whimsicott. My little Cotton Ball. Oh, this is just dandy. Nice little start here. Nice little start. Looking to go 2-0. Looking to rock out with this squad. Who you got? What do you got? He's going follow me, of course. Like, like I said, of course it's coming. That thing's going to go first. Go ahead, Halucha. Max Knuckle coming into my Lucario. You can say bye to him. Bye-bye, Lucario. That's fine by me. Okay, Lucario's gone. That's fine. Whimsicott could potentially take out both of these. Could potentially take out both of these. Yeah, this thing is like plus four on the attack board. But is he, isn't he plus four? No, he's plus three. He's plus three. He has a sword stance and that. Here comes Dazzling Gleam. Take him out. Do it. Oh, man. Oh, that's rough. That's some bad news. You go for the fake out. You think fake out's going to take him out? <laughs> Lane for fake out. Hmm. is tough. We're gonna go into the Arcanine Protect. Arcanine Protect is totally coming out here. Or, Tailwind we should, no, because he's going for the Follow Me. He's going for the Follow Me. We're gonna go for the Protect here. Tailwind's gonna pop. Do a little bit of, it's gonna help us out just a little bit. We're gonna go for a little bit of, again, a Dazzling Gleam here. Should be able to take him out, both out. And we're just gonna go for a nice little Protect here. Try to just stall this out a little bit. Because this Hulucha is like beasting right now. It's beasting right now. I can see another Follow Me coming out, but like I said, that's why we're going for that task something. Helping hand does pop. Wow. Wow. Okay. Helping hand does pop. 
Imagine if we did go into the what's it called? That tail went into the flamethrower. That would have been huge. Let's see. Can we eat? Max rock. Oh, no, we're going. We're gone. We're done. Only if we had a Shukaberry. Actually, no, we're fine. Shukaberry is only for ground anyway. I protect us. Help out a ton. I thought we were gone for sure. Helping hand with like plus two attack. Now the Sandstorm's wrong. We can say bye to both these Pokemon. That is huge. That is huge. Yeah, yeet. Both of them gone. See you later. We're chilling out. We still have our Dynamax. It's a 3v2 situation. If they're special attacker attackers, we can just snarl up. Chilling beautiful. We have more Peko in the back here. Everyone loves more Peko. Everybody loves that more Peko. We're gonna take a little bit of Buffet action. Say bye-bye to our Sash. Are we even Sash? Yes, we are Sash, I believe. Our one Scott is Sash. Okay, what do you want? Who are you going out with? That's my question. I just want to snarl up and just pass them. Togekiss, that's beautiful. We can snarl that thing all day long. And then it is, it is shiny with that little tint. Who is Poltius? Beautiful. Beautiful. I can see a shell smash coming in here. We're going to snarl up and Tailwind out. Tailwind. Boop. A little bit of snarl action, which is super effective to the Pulti guys, but not very effective to the Togekiss. Like I said, I just want to get off this little bit of, of what's it called. I just want to get off the... The special attack drop. But we're chilling. I think we are chilling. This thing's going for a shell smash, I believe. I think he's going to go for a shell smash. We're going to start teeing off on that thing. We have our tail went up. Snarl. Ah, you baby. That does a decent amount to that Pulti, guys. Did a decent amount over there. For a snarl? We're going to drop a special attack. Is That thing is special attacking, right? He's going to go for a shell smash. Might be white herb. There's a shell smash. We know. We know what you're doing before you do it. <laughs> His defense is going to fall. His special defense is going to fall. Bang, bang, bang. There goes his attack raise. Special attack raise. Speed. And is the what's called going to pop? The white herb. No white herb. Wow, no white herb. My little sash, mom. It might be sash. Let me outspeed here. Let me outspeed. I, th I feel like my more P.E.K.K.A. would outspeed all these people all day. Um, we're just going to go into a Gleam here. This Gleam stab. Do a little bit more. And then we're just going to go into a Flamethrower. Got to get this Pulti guys out the way. We're Peko even going to see the light in this match. Let's see. Does that Pulti guys outspeed me? That's my question. He is Shell Smash, so his speed is up. But we do have the Tailwind. We do have the Tailwind. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, baby! That isn't good. We do outspeed. Can my Arcanine outspeed? Arcanine could, could potentially take out. No, Sword Power is coming through. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Arcanine gone. Arcanine gone. My more Peko should be chilling. My more Peko should 100% be able to outspeed this uh, thing. This little thing right here. He's going to go into a little dazzling gleam. We eat them. We eat that. And Big More Peko coming back to play. Big More Peko's coming in, Clutch. We're going to take these buffets. Do I go for a max guard? Do I play very, very, like, I play very smart? I could go for a max guard. I could go for a max guard because chances are dazzling gleam and a sword power is coming after me. You guys know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? We're just going to go for another dazzling gleam here. We could fake out. Before we do D-Max. Nah, we going straight for that D-Max, though. We're going to get up against this Pulti Ice. Like, like I said, I see my more Peko outspeeding that Pulti Ice. Even though it has that uh, little boost in speed, the Tailwind is just too good with the more Peko. But look at this thing's little stubby feet. You think this thing can run fast? Look at him. Look at him. This thing can probably smooth. Probably get smoothed. With those little stubby feet. Just ch -ch 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 -ch. all across the battlefield. Quick Lightning's coming out here. We're going to take out the Pulti Ice, I believe. Hold the guy's gonna be gone, and then I think he's just gonna hit the bounce boogie skin. It'll cancel the battle, and we'll be chilling. And we will be chilling. More Peko! <laughs> I love this thing. I love this thing, but I'm not not more than my Toga tomorrow. Toga tomorrow is my boy. He's my boy. Right, I still think we're chilling. That thing does not outspeed my Wimscott, unless it takes out my Wimscott and outspeeds my or Peko. There's some nice damage there. We can say bye to the what's it called? We say bye-bye to the Tokus. Yay! Life orb damage, baby! And who's he gonna take out here? He's gotta be going after my pecs, man. He's gotta be going after my pecs. But it's cool. We, we know we outspeed. Both our Pokemon outspeed, so we're gonna take out the Pulti guys regardless. Unless it has a first move priority thing. And then dumps something. See, so he's gonna go for a sword power. Over on my Whimsy. Not the Whimsy! Whimsy goes down. Whimsy goes down, and it comes down to the boy. More Peko once again. Once again. Let's go, Pex. Let's go, Peko. Peko, we could guard. Okay, so we could guard and guarantee us to win from the Buffets. Or we can go into a Max Darkness. We're going into a Max Darkness. We're going to have fun. If I lose this one, it's on me. But, like, 
If it was, this was like, if I actually really cared so much, I would go into the max guard, just let the buffers take it. But either way, we get the win 2-0 with this team. 2-0 with this squad. You love to see it. You love to see it. Absolutely dominate it with them. With more Pekka right here. More Pekka came off clutch. We didn't really get to show off beat, off, beat up Lucario, but it's just like, it's all right. It doesn't even matter. There's just something about these little mouse Pokemon that I'm, I'm just loving. I'm just loving. This more Pekko, absolutely love. That Toga tomorrow is phenomenal. Maybe we gotta try out a giant Pikachu squad. Maybe we gotta try that out because the mouse Pokemon are rocking out for us. Guys, here's one last look at this team. If you like to use it for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use this more Pekko team, let me know how you did with it in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.